Guthrie with Comrade Anthony Kabaka Adu. He's an APC chieftain and he's here to discuss or to tell us about his struggles. We are discussing Tony Kabaka Adu and the evolving issues in Edo politics. You are very welcome, Comrade. You are welcome, my brother. Good morning. To join us, please go to Bloomsha Nigeria, Bloomsha page on Facebook and give us your comments. If there are any questions you want to ask the comrade, please put them there so that we can put them to him. Let us get into the matter, comrade. You're welcome. Tell us, first of all, who is comrade Anthony Kabaka Adu? Well, uh, my, my name remains Anthony Kabaka Adu, the son of... Uh, I'm from a royal family. I'm from Adu family in Ugbe, who read the local government close to the upper market and the palace. That's my hood where I grew up. I attended Ida Primary School. From Ida, I went to Ogbe Primary School. From Ogbe Primary School, I went to Baptist High School. I school here and uh, by God's grace, my father is a retired officer, military officer. My father retired as a warrant officer. Nigerian Army. Nigeria Army. Yes. I grew up in artillery barrack, I grew up in a uh, Ojo Katomet, then the largest barrack in Africa. Then my father was also a musician from music. My father joined the military. So my father was a, a, a bad guitarist to the uh, Bolivia, Osita Osigbeme, late Bolivia, the father of young Bolivia. Popular Bolivia. Bolivia, yeah. Yes. My father was the one that played that music called Obahano Ye. A mini sati my meremo. Then my father was also the one that played Sigi Nogi Ba Yao E Ye. They also the one that played uh, this track. Upon it, Imami Daraba, Imami Ye. If that, that my father album when he was playing with Bolivia. Well, uh, since I grew up, after my secondary school, I became. Because the hood I grew up, we normally play bands, we normally play traditional bands, this palace band, festival band, so we were superstar in it. So from there, I, now, I was now playing with my senior brother, playing conga. After my secondary school, playing conga with our hand, the late our hand. Then from our hand, I now joined the talent of Benin. Then from the talent of Benin, I also play conga for Ukodo, which is still alive today, the talent of Benin is still alive. Then from Ukodo, I also was back in uh, Osamore Joseph as a second guitarist, a uh, second Congolese. So all my life, all the days of my life, I grew up with music. So you play the drums and the guitar? Yeah, I play, no, I don't play guitar. I okay. play, I play drum and vocal. I play and vocal. Okay. And I play anything leather. Okay. Yeah. Some people use uh, wood, why we use our bare hand. So I'm a superstar when it comes to anything like that, when it comes to music. And I'm also a vocalist when it comes to music. Now, how do I involve in politics? In politics, when I was growing up, then APN, UPN. My senior brother, President Chief, Osamede Adu, and uh, late Bayer, late uh, Sunday Agbagbanya, all of them were playing it with uh, Oba Den, Oba Digye, then uh, Chief Uwamu. I was small, then then, uh, in around, a, the, around what period of time? I'm talking it? of early, uh, late 80s. Late 80s, okay. Yeah, late 80s. So then, we normally have a MPN, UPN. MPN, they will gather fruits in basket like this. Different fruits. Then you see the uh, logo, MPN. Then UPN, then, we're having the light of a candle in Nigeria, man. So uh, I looked that time, I was very small, I normally old flag and join them with the vehicle if they are going out for campaign. At time, my brother will be quarreling with me. Well, what are you doing here? You, you, because I will sneak and join them, carrying flags. So from there, I was having the awareness. Then before, after then, we were collecting uh, revenue called uh, Ego Tour. That Owo Ile for Lagos, they call it uh, Owo Ile, money for grant. So as we were doing it, at the time, the military now came on board. When the military now came on board, we now, they now drove us away. So after some time, I have to move then. Then Major Meriga, 
we now approach me regard that we can be collecting this revenue and be balancing the military when military man were a council chairman military man were governor military man were the 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 uh, what do you call it uh, commissioner so we work with them from there uh, democracy came on board all this is in of course in then Benin then Benin then Bender State yes so if people are looking at me that I start politics today is a lie I know Pastor Isaiah Yamu when I was a small boy when Pastor Isaiah Yamu was working with Lucky as a as a PA or P, P, either PA or secretary then uh, Ebomoyi was a uh, a counselor in Oredo. So if you look at in my present, Georgina was the ch uh, chairman of Oredo local government. In my present, Oyegu was the governor. I was playing part in all this election. Yes. But you know when you are playing a playing part in election, when you are following somebody, the person you are following is the one that you will share your dividends with. So whenever they empower them, we also be empowered. So this is how we are playing it. When it gets to one time, we now support Osari uh, Osumba uh, after Oyegu, after Lucky Binedion. Everybody knows I was a, a boy, I'm a product of Lucky Binedion through Osari Zayamu. So I play politics then. Nobody recognizes me, nobody wants to even. But if they give you a job, if you cannot do it, We'll lobby with you since you are the one that they gave approval. We'll do the job for you. We'll still get our own part. So that's how we're doing it, doing it. And at the time, we'll see play entertainment music. At the time when somebody is having occasion, we'll lead our boys and friends there. We'll go and entertain. They will spray us. After then, we'll come and share money. Just for we to feed and end our living. So from there, I think things we're now, military we're now on board. Nothing to do again. So then I now join what we call practical and theory. It's not everything I would say. Yes. I was not doing practical and theory. What we call wash wash. <laughs> because we don't want to, I don't want to thief. I don't want to engage in criminal activity because my father was a soldier. And a soldier, uh, uh, 63 NEA. Those are the real soldiers. So my father called, he normally say, this is my first wife. He called his gun. He said, my, first wife. this is my first wife. Your mother is the second wife. I joined the military to serve and retire as a military personnel. If you feel you want to swear my name or disgrace my name, this is the gun, I will, I will kill you. So you know military man, when they say the award is born. So I was born and brought up in a brutal way. Uh, my father was so brutal. So any mistake is beating, you know? So then when I was not growing up, I said, okay, may God give me my life, I will treat my children like a gold. That's why today, when I gave birth to my kids, they attended the Grenadian ride from Montessori, even though when, when I was not in power. I normally make my money in the street. That's why they call me street governor. So politics of today, some people want to play game with it. It's not so. Don't, 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 even though everybody is contesting as a governor, one person must amen. Coming to that. Yeah. Thank you very much, God bless. Uh, comrade, for giving us some of this background. You have raised some very interesting points. Yeah. You are saying that the history of political evolution, yeah. even in Edo State, yeah. has you playing a part from a very long time ago. Yeah. Now, how did your relationship with the current governor, Godwin Obaseki, evolve? Where did it come in? How did it start? Yeah, well, my involvement where with Obaseki, when uh, we were trying to organize uh, this, uh, after Oshomole, we were about to leave. So, I was with Oshomole. Oshomole, the President National Chairman, empowered us. He said he want to change our, our lifestyle. He want to make sure he build us as a human. So, with that word of advice, word of encouragement, we worked so hard to make sure the predecessor that is bringing will succeed. Normally, I was not supporting Obaseki government for, for his coming. Because normally, it's my mother relation the same grandfather with my mother. That's uh, Governor Obaseki. Governor Obaseki. Even the same grandfather with my brother's uh, mother, Usapama no Mule. So you are, you are We related. are all related. He's my uncle, why I'm his cousin. You know, when they were bringing, really, I don't know him from the one. 
not until when he came on board with Oshomole from Lagos. So I was not happy that my brother is in Gome as there, I don't know him. So not until I was having challenge with Oshomole, when Oshomole now said uh, we should go and be campaigning and be working for Obaseki. I said, ah, sir, but you gave me to Osarodion Ogi for me to be working with this, the truth and nothing but the truth. So you, originally your sympathy was with? With Osarodion Ogi. Not uh, Obaseki. Yeah. And Osarodion Ogi with Shaibu, we are in the same. Osarodion Ogi was supposed to be the governor. Why? According to the plan we were having on ground. Yeah. Why Shaibu will be the deputy to Osarodion? So along the line, as we were ready the crusade, we are holding our ground for our aspirant to succeed. That is the Sarandion Gi. The government came from uh, from uh, above that everybody should support uh, Godwin Obaseki. And I say, ah, but sir, we have been building structure for Ogi. Then the, the, the governor then said, ah, the structure you are building is for APC. And APC remains one. We need somebody that can manage the affair of a dossier that will not let us down, that will carry the politician along and continue from the development where it stopped. I said, you know better, sir. But me, I'm already with Ogie. So along the line, I went to suspension because I was a, a revenue collector at Cook Bay Venture. You understand? I went on suspension for three months because they went to go and lie on me that I'm not supporting a Obaseki, that I'm supporting Odubu. Then I was not even supporting Odubu, I was supporting okay. Osarodion Ogi. Yes. So before I know, Osarodion Ogi and uh, Shaibu, they have already queued up with uh, Obaseki without we knowing. Then in the evening, and I went to them. I said, sir, what? He said, please, you know, I this Ogi telling me now. He said, you know, I don't have a political father, I'm standing alone. There's somebody I'm working with said, I should pay my loyalists and I should disorganize my, my structure and give it to Obaseki. So he's our father, he's our mentor. We need to listen to him. Okay, we are now addressing him so that we can support Obaseki. So even my candidate was the first person that we are supporting this present governor. The only thing we could do down to, to join the crusade because Oshomole knows the best for us. That's what we are thinking. So we now started supporting him. After supporting him, he now emerged as a governor. The immediately emerged as a governor, he shut the door against all politicians. So at least when governor came on board, you give him chance to balance equation before he can see outsider because government is not a thing of today and tomorrow. So we gave him time like one year. After one year, I now jam him when he was coming out from occasion. He said, ha, my brother, where are you? Ah, come and see me. Why are you? Ah, I'm not seeing you. And I went to his office. And I said, my excellency, you know, before you came on board, we promised a lot of youth and uh, a lot of youth support this crusade. I know business cannot be as usual. If there is a way you can engage these people. He said, what I'm going to do for you people, I'm going to engage you people in farming. So that the rest of your life, you cannot depend on government. I want to divert your, your, your habitant to something that we'll be giving you that you will benefit once I something, train you. Something sustainable. Yeah. And I was happy because the way Amana, he was saying it. He now said they should give me 100 attacks in airport road. Instantly, he now put a call to Sarodion Ogi. They are still alive. If I lie against anybody, what I'm saying here, May God Almighty squeeze life out of me. I don't. I normally swear it because God is super, super see. So good. So when I, I did not bring my, did not say I should bring name, and I gave them my name. I cook me. Then I said they are going to bring out hundred hectares for we to be farming. They will give us a tractors. You know that time when it came aboard, uh, farming we are something because money we are coming from a brick. So we were expecting. Not until one day again, I said, let me go and meet this man. So I now met him again, he not changed what he told me before. He said, what he's going to do, uh, the land that he bought for this uh, industrial park, that uh, I should bring my boy, 500 of them, they will be paying them 20,000 at the end of the month, they should go and be monitoring that site. And nothing is going on there. 
I said, I said for people not to encroach that land, that's okay. But sir, these people you are saying, some of them have family, they have kids. And a gate man, a answer man that is a gate man today, the lowest they receive is 15,000 or 20,000. And these people, they are going to be using their tiffer um, inside that salary. Maybe at the end of the day, they will not get anything. If you can increase it, we plead dead. He said, no, how much is meaning where mom wait? I can't pay that. You know, I, I really not said he was eating. That's the present governor. He said I should eat. I said, no, sir, I'm not hungry. Because really what I came there for, if God has blessed me, at least the people that labor and suffer with us, they should engage them. So I now met him again. And I said, sir, I want to plead if you can do this thing for me. Since you have a partnership with China, can you bring, let us bring even though 10 of our boys or six, let them talk them to China, let them train them so that those ones will now come and train the one that is ready to learn so that we can get these people. What, what did you want them to be trained in? And you know, uh, in China, there's a lot of training. They have uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, carving work, we call it art work. Mm. They do it in, uh, in, in, in uh, China. Mm. They do a lot of things in China. Okay. Even to this printing press, they do it in China. Mm -hmm. So we suggested all these things. Nothing, in our call TJ, say TJ, take note. Kabaka will travel with me, we are going to China. So that I can go and see what I'm telling him. I was very happy that uh, I want to travel with uh, the governor. Not until I met him again, plant chair. What will I do? Because I know how I labored during the time of uh, inauguration of the Abba of Benin. I'm a part and parcel of the son of the palace. And I say, let me go and complain to, to the Abba. And I went with my crowd after we greeted. Baba now said, what is the problem? I hope Benin is okay. I said, Baba, Benin is not okay. I was having the opportunity because Baba was asking at the atmosphere. Baba wants to know if everybody is okay because he's the father. So I was having the opportunity and I opened up that daddy, no, our, most of our youth are jobless. And uh, we've approached this governor several times. He has not listened to us. Baba, uh, this CDA that they drove, if they can merge us together, let us be in charge of our community. Let us be taking care of security. CDA is gone, is gone so that we can engage these people to eradicate uh, cutting killing and uh, kidnapping and armed robbery. And to keep them busy. Uh, uh, the uh, the bar was very happy for the idea. He now said we should go and compile the names of the CDA and the names of the people that work in politics so that he can give it to the governor to engage them even with the security votes. Really, we wrote all the names and their phone number and address. We were happy when the palace, the Oba Binyoba Atok Bay, Receive it from us. We were very happy. We now went to. We are now celebrating that we, we our youth will soon be engaged. So the, really, the palace gave him the letter. Nothing comes up. After six months, the palace called me. Alpha, the governor going about your case, your people's case. I said, Baba, nothing. You know. he said, you mean it up to now. I said, Baba, nothing. So we reported to the monarch more than three times. So we have to rest and leave the rest for the ancestor. So that's it. So before we started launching, uh, because our party, people were now leaving the party, APC. So we are now moving to other party. So I now call all the youth in and just say, we now assemble in my house. The, the video is still there on YouTube. We now, I now said I pleaded with the governor to please not to neglect this politician because tomorrow we will need them. After that, I pleaded, so I was called by then uh, Dennis Idaosa, now president, uh, member House of Representatives. He sit there serving. So Dennis now approached us, he now took calls to the governor. All we were thinking that during this video, he would talk to the governor and bring all the party members together. back together. Mm. Uh, he said they don't have followers. He said, come. The question he asked me that I was surprised. He said, come, who is sending you? Why are you fighting? Why are you fighting for those people that are not irrelevant? Those people that don't have a follower. I said, he said, come, who send you? Is it Ochomole that send you? I said, no, sir. I really God and man. Since Ochomole went to Abu Abdul Jamim, it took like two years when Ochomole was coming from Abuja when I received him in the airport. He says, Is it Ochomole that send you? I said, no, sir. I don't think because everybody's been neglected. 
and nobody is coming. No, before, if you if you leave your house as a politician, your son call you or your daughter call you, mommy, where are you? Saying you are a government because you know you are a politician. Even though you don't have a your mother is not in power, they will have hope that my mother is in government. One thing, something will come. Not politicians that normally go to government. The door will shut against everybody. To the extent, the energy that Oshomole we are using to make sure this government succeed. After this government emerge, he said before a Nigye can come to the government house, they should go and take approval from the palace. I don't know if you understand. So when we now look at the old things, I say, wow, we are in danger then. Normally in politics, nobody call you and ask you for money. If we are asking for money, this is the time they are supposed to spend the money because you buy delegate. Now there is no delegate. Card carry member. Go on. If you are popular, go and take it. And I was so happy for the decision that the national chairman took. In every state, they have their, uh, their grievances of a way and manner of implementation of politics. Most especially when it comes to election. When there is a grievance, if, if there is a consensus and they bring out one person, they, there will not be a Calcari member that will use delegate. This one, this one is fighting for governor. This is fighting for governor. So you cannot come because of one person and say you must follow. Let's do it open and clear. So that whosoever that has the follower will take it. I was so happy. You understand? You know, inside this crisis, what I was expecting the former national uh, uh, the former uh, chairman, uh, uh, APC chairman, a uh, chapter, Aslem Ojezua, the former chairman, what, what, what I was expecting from him is to make sure in your time this thing will not happen. I, I will not lie. Aslem may deny it. I met with him. He told me, oh, pop and play, that they are talking to this governor. He's not listening to them. Aslem told me, That's if I lie, Aslem, the former chairman of former APC, chairman. Edo State Chapter, if I lie against you, God will ask me. If I lie against you, ask me, may, may I die by motor accident? But if I didn't lie, may God Almighty ask you because I'm saying the truth. He told me, he said they are talking to the governor because when there's crisis, it's the party chairman that's supposed to come in and bring everybody together. So nobody can even talk to the governor. I don't think somebody will be bold to be talking to him. I swear. This is, we, are, we, are, we are getting really into the matter. Yeah. Comrades, still under the mango tree, I want to just kind of... Uh, I'm, 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 yes, that's where I'm going. Mm -hmm. What brought under the mango tree? Yes. All Aslan fail to do, eh? the party, the party we are not angry. Aslan we are not taking side as a, a party chairman. We are not taking side with the governor to neglect his party follower because he's getting some little things. No, that is not how to lead. As a chairman of everybody, you make sure your people is being carried along. If I will not be a greed man, I'm not a greedy man. If I want to be greed, I will not have a problem with this present governor. He's my uncle. I will get something from him. He must, he must give me one thing. But I look at him. If I get one of the people that we confuse to support, to make sure we are men, tomorrow, which I will then look at me? I said, no. If I don't need anything, but these people engage them, they fail. Today now, these same people, you need them. And I don't know if you understand. Yes. So, even in, the, in that election, what makes me to sing that song under the mango tree? You know, Aslam Ojezua know that party is supreme. He failed to follow the party rules. They now suspended him. He now went on behalf of the party ESCO. He went to go to, he went to Abuja. Next meeting, he was outside. I was watching because we were at the outside too. Oh, because you were in Abuja. Yes, yeah, I went to I went to go and see things to myself. Okay. We were not allowed to in to be inside because we are not member of the neck. We were outside. Aslan we were inside the coastal bus that they came with with the governor. After some time, one short man now called Aslan to inside the inside vehicle and gave Aslan a tag. If I'm lying, may I die by motor accident. If I'm saying the truth, may God Almighty stand for me and let me be free in my life. I use God. I swear and I use God. So Aslan was not giving a card. He was going inside, they not stop him. 
So I was with uh, Ogbemudia Ben Ogbemudia, the writer, was there. So the guy now took a video, and I said you should video him. They now video him. So in the evening of it, after they were showing the news, it was not inside the it was not in the hall. But he came to Benin and be taking selfie inside the hall. That's why I now sang that song. Under the mango tree, under the mango tree, I slept taking selfie under the mango tree. That's how that music came. I, I want to quickly point this out. Yeah. Please, you are invited to join us. Make yeah. your comments on Facebook slash Bloom Share. Yeah. Also, one of our one of the comments says you should please release an album on direct and indirect primaries. This is an aside. Yeah. Just so that later on we can come back to that. Okay. Let me quickly ask you, comrade. You're welcome. In from your own opinion, yeah. Where did this conflict actually start? My own opinion, this conflict started, what I expected, this conflict started from the governor by shutting the door against politicians. It's like somebody you gave ladder to climb. After he climbed, he now took the ladder, he didn't throw the ladder away. He took him, took the ladder along with himself so that nobody will have access to climb. I don't know if you understand. I've made preference, what brought this crisis? The government, this present government, is the one that caused the crisis. By refusing to... By neglecting neglect, their politicians. But, but the governor has repeatedly said that he, they've been the politicians are demanding, constantly demanding money from him. Okay, now... And that is the issue that he has. Now, I, I, I'm, I'm not here today. And you are a press man. You came today, you said you want to interview me. Now, if you are a governor, I work for you. Today I come, I say, please, Governor, my children have not paid school fees, you give me money. Tomorrow, I will come and meet you, Governor, I don't have super to, will you listen to me? No. In politics, where you wrong, where you make the mistake, there are some jobs you use in engaging politicians. This job are board, committee. The real resources is coming from somewhere. If the Governor is not having any stress because of lack of uh, incoming incoming uh, financial money the government can sit on the board if you are a chairman of social committee this is your target and this is your memorandum with this government this is your target this is the way and manner you, you should apply your duty you to perform on your duty i don't know if you understand yes because he want to take everything board different board that they use in engaging politicians he took it to the extent they wanted to took POS to market women. You look at it, they even want a drop to fell on ground. Because he want to take everything. A, a good governor, we, we pretend as first, as first tenor. The second tenor, he will not bring his character. Because of Greek, this man took everything. Normally we have a board, we have a minister of our Greek. There's a law board there. We have a protection there. It's not that now because we were not, politics is not coming close to the door. It's it now started giving SSC, started give opening board. How long are you going? What, are you, what have you benefit? And listen to the people that are joining him then in now. What they benefited from Isaiah Yamu and Oshobole's government, they cannot vote that they benefited. I could remember vividly when they were swaying in the commissioner. May God forbid bad if I have opportunity to be a governor. I will not tell my commissioner that. He said, now you are coming as a commissioner. You are rich. Now, now that you are coming to this government, know that you are going to be poor. Wow. I said, wow. In life, you people that is watching me, some people that is supporting him that uh, because he didn't give you money. No. If you labor for somebody as you are playing in politics, may that person shut the door against you so that you feel the impact and what it takes. I swear to God, with the APC Kakare member, with the APC, when you test our blood, it's APC. We are like a senior opposition in our own state when we have our incumbent government. When we work for, when we, when, when we work for uh, uh, continuity. So my brother, there's no need to lie. I swear to God, they are waiting for 
a person that is a politician to emerge like Isaiah Yamu, you will see how people will deflect. Even from his own room, from his own room, they will deflect. We will normally talk, we meet. We are under the mango tree, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. I have a lot of our bond. We are under the mango tree. I have a lot of our bond that will was. We are under the mango tree with yeah. Comrade Kabaka Adu. Yeah. Please remember to send your questions through Facebook slash Bloomshare. Yeah. And we can bring them on board. Comrade. Yeah. Give us a history about, in, in the course of this, this conflict. Yeah. You have suffered personally. Wow. I your, can't mention. Your, your hotel was demolished. Mm -hmm. Before my hotel was demolished, let me bring it to your view. Yes. The day is I am we are decamping to APC. You know they do always to make sure they close down the camping. Yes. But it's suiting place. No, we mobilize for Zayamu and in Zayamu have no follower. They were even driving some on, on their way coming. So on that day, they went, they came to my house on my behalf. They drive along and shoot my house. They drive back and shoot. You mean they were fired? Yeah, firing my friends, my girl, my, my POP. So they couldn't take a second. They know my house. If I'm at home, they won't get that draw. I don't know if you understand. Yes. But you cannot hide on that government and start misbehaving with your youth, your fellow youth. Tomorrow, what about when the government leave? You think that person you wanted to go and kill will not be looking at you? No. That's why in politics, I'll be playing my own. I've not with nobody. You now, now, you are now with something somebody. What of this your presence in your government now fail? Are you not going back to the same people? If I insulted Isaiah Yamu when I was with Oshomole, I think I will not be bold to come and say now, nah, I want to work with Isaiah Yamu. I don't know if you understand. Yes. I normally come out anytime they are trying to hide the truth. I will vote out the truth. If you like, you take. If you like, you leave it. You know in Benin, if you are saying the truth, People don't normally appreciate you because a lot of people benefit from crisis. I remember vividly when they attacked Aunsa Quarter. I went there with my youth to rescue the Aunsa with 50 million and gold that worth more than 300 million. That was how Chomolena gave me SSA and give 62 people SSA on neighborhood world for we to help him to support the government. And we are still working men. All these things are normal things you throw for politicians. Normally, there is some work that they normally give politicians. What is the work? If you are renovating primary school, they will give you a contract of like 3 million. Maybe after you do the contract, preparing the school, doing the necessary thing, at the end of the day, you have 1 million as a profit or 800. Is that not a bonus to politicians? That is what politicians benefit from government. No politician that will go to government and say, give me money. You are disgracing yourself. How much will he give you? Uh, for how long you have been campaigning, working? In number second time, I have a gray hair. Because after co coronation, after uh, government uh, campaign, we now start coronation. So Kabaka did not rest. Uh, people call me auxiliary because I'm very agile when it comes to paying your dues. After paying your dues, the dividends will come. They will recognize you. That's how, why we work. You that are working for politics, campaign, supporting Obaseki. If, tomorrow, if Obaseki emerge, you need something from him at all, at all. What will you need? Absa, I have a proposal. You must bring a proposal. You cannot even come and meet government, government to come and give him what he's using for, for me. no now. In a summer letter, we didn't see that. But uh, comrade, yeah. I want to bring you back to this the, 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 the history of your hotel. Yeah. If you will, tell us how, first of all, how you even got that land. Yeah. The issue was supposed to have been that you built on land that belongs to government. Government and is it, is it blank So land. you need to uh, clarify this. Okay, thing. now, let me tell you. Thank God your case cannot be in court when you will not say something contrary to the court. That is a uh, content of court. Yes, yeah, subjudice. So uh, yeah, that is content of court. Yes. Yeah, I, that what makes me silent. I think this now, my lawyer will not come out. I will engage a lawyer that will read all the proceedings. What was what have been transpired in my case? I want to tell the public today. I bought that land from Ugbo community, and that land is not a government land. A state government did not have land in that area that I built. Ugba community, when they were looking for primary school and a center 
and ski accusation. Ugbo community, people you listen and listen good. The case is seen in the court. Ugbo community now pleaded with the uh, local government now pleaded with Ugbo community that they need a place that they will put ex center, primary school, and uh, skill accusation. Ugbo community now gave the land to local government, Oredo, not even states. That land we have faced at the market and the plan when my case were going on i brought the plan out somebody brought it for me from land and survey when they were trying to tell me i build on government land are you listening when i now saw the plan government have already satisfied their property by fencing it and i was the last person that built there then i built on the same line with my house my house is at the front my hotel is at the back the same line and if you look at that place the houses that is there is more than seven houses back of the primary school so as we were in court they failed to prove that i built on government land quote me the court is still existing we are seeing the court Quote me, I cannot come here and lie on social media when my case is still pending. They said that I build on government land. They could not prove that I build on government land. Now, what they now came out with, they said, I don't have proper building plan. The judge now smile. He now ask, hope your, your client, he now ask the state counsel, Wale uh, Iyamu. He said, I hope your i don't know the english they use there we we'll obey the rule of law we we'll obey the court he said yes my lord i promise that wally that he will obey the case is pending a few days of judgment this man went on behalf of the court and demolished my property since then based on i'm waiting if a poor man will get a judgment because it's obvious if you respect the law case cannot be pending why you go on behalf of the court and demolish the same property and tomorrow you'll be seeking for court you'll be seeking for court to give you judgment in your own case or maybe you have another matter with other person you did respect the rule of law my case is pending the court have not given judgment to you they've not given judgment to me you went on behalf of the court and demolish my property after demolishing the property i'm waiting for the judge and the court to to tell us the next level not only that he came again he said by destroying my court by destroying my property sorry to say by destroying my property that i didn't send him to destroy he said i should come and pay 18 million for destroying my property and for evacuating the refuse of uh, my destruction of my property i want to tell the world today god almighty god that created heaven and earth if it's only the work that government gave me that use in building that hotel may whatever i have today may may may, may he lost at a loss may i not reap whatever i labor for i didn't get all the money that i use in that hotel from only the government if i lie god almighty i use your name every time you supersede if i lie i want to come to the public and lie if it's only government money I use in that hotel, may I not prosper in my life. May my downfall start from today. I swear with my mouth. I did, it's not only, I was building it. I will tell you how I managed to acquire that hotel. But even, give us a description of the hotel, if you will. I built the hotel on one by two. Okay. I took the length of Uyi Ground. Uyi Ground is three, uh, two stories. Why my own is one story. One story. That's just the difference. The same length, and what pays me so much? The property I was having, because before Baseki came on board, I was about to roof. When he, when he, he came on board. That's and, the hotel. Yeah, when he stopped us from walking. Based on, I know who I am. I was still hustling, selling some property that I have, a land that they give me. I, I, I went about dash me property. I was the one looking after a property. He gave me one land. Uh, I cannot mention a lot of people who oh, bought. I was having 30 plus. Then finally, 30 plus. Give it to me by Ugbo. In my community, I was having 40 plus. 
given to me by the elders. I cannot mention various places like that. I know a nigga that have contributed to my life. So the, the I, listen, my hotel, I want to tell you people, I, I acquired my hotel. I was now working as a revenue collector under Andasali Ochomule after I love fighting. You know, I was fighting union because union did not give me chance to do my work after I'll be given letter. After I was given letter, I started work after eight months because of the crisis. Today crisis, tomorrow eight months before I now commence on work. I worked for two years and uh, some months. I, let me say three years. Let me say three years. That's where I work. I did work at the first tunnel of Ochomule. I work at the second tunnel of Ochomule. So that that my property. I was getting revenue after paying government, after paying my workers. I was not having eighty thousand that normally free for me. If I'm like God is watching. So that money and I look at it. Hello, Mr. Man, let's listen to each other. I will not look at that money. This money is coming now after I pay government. I'm in charge of 18 local government. I was not having free money, 80 taro. You know what I did? I now call somebody that is selling cement. I will not give him 15,000 every day. Somebody that was selling brock, I will not give him 10,000 every day. Somebody who Sazuwa is alive, is is the is electronics man. I should speak now. I'm still only Sazuwa about 30 million. On this same on property. this same property, for for the uh, wiring of my hotel transformer that I gave my street and everything that I use wiring, both the fittings. Oh, Sazuwa, when I now call them, I will pay money like this. After two years and some months, I now call Osazuwa. How much is my money that is with you? Because if I give you money, you will sign. Then the the receiver will sign, giver will sign. So when I now do my calculation. Osazuwa we are owing me over 90 million plus. I've not started building. When I now calculate the bad block, block we are owing me over 30 million plus. When I now go to Smith, Smith we are owing me because I put money rod and Smith were the highest. Rod we are owing me over 22 plus. Then uh, Smith we are owing me over 7 million plus. I said, wow, what am I going to build? Let me just start. This is how I acquired my property. I was paying money to Matilda every day. Because if I know, if I say, let me gather this money, my, my aunt, I'm a shuffle giver. And you can give me money here now. After sharing for the people presently with me, before I know, people that we are not there, they will use phone and call them. The little one with me, I will not share it. So that's my nature. It's, it's my nature. People that work with me, both the ones that have traveled out, both the ones that know me on ground, they can testify. A lot of people don't normally know me. They don't. They are not close to me. The way they hear my name, they think I'm a hand. So I live the is is destiny by God. So when I acquire, when I was not building, I was not paying for workers. At the end of the day, at times maybe they want to do major work. I will gather myself for like one month or two months. I will not do a major work. This is how I acquire my property. If I like, God is watching. Thank you very much. And not only that, I now sold my hostel that was having before Oshomola came on board. That was Stem's having hostel in Ekbuma, close to Ainek Road. I sold that hostel to my senior brother. Uh, it's like from my mother's side. Right. If I was looking for money, I want to complete my hotel because people were saying he would sell it, he would sell it. I sold my hostel. I sold my four flats that was having here. I saw the 32 plot at Bypass, Sapley Road. All was taken into My brother, hotel. yeah, yeah. All was being poured into this what, hotel. What size was the hotel? What I built it on 100 by 200. I was having uh, 31 room. Then I now use uh, uh, one room for laundry, uh, two, uh, one for kitchen, one for engine room, where I put my camera where you normally watch CCTV. Then one for where, where, where for my staff. How many staff were you? I was having my staff, my lowest staff, because they change duty. We have, if you work today, tomorrow you can't come to work. I give you the other day to rest. So I was having, uh, among all of them, because they normally change. 25, 25. Yeah, 25, 25, that was 50. That was having 50 workers, in, 
beside the security, beside the security and the pool attendant. I gave my place a, a classic place. I didn't use any high quality in my, my building. But I leave it just for God. If you you can go to YouTube or the, you see there, zoom it and look at the material I use. Then something that pay me so much, somebody that I offend. It's not it's not me that offend him. It's the person that offend me. And the person did play a role that will make me to respect him. The person's name is called Denko. Denko, the president house of a uh, rep. I feel he offend me and I feel I offend him. We, we, uh, let me come out with the truth. Denko brother happened to come from abroad. On the suddenly I met this guy in my hotel. And this guy is insulting everybody. His name is Eddie Murphy. To the extent he was insulting parlors. So this guy, based on my in-law, he was with me. Now, this guy now went to palace. They now saw him that this guy that was starting palace is here. Who did he come with? They said it's Kabaka. They now say, Kabaka, go and bring this man. I cannot because of somebody that came from abroad to offend the palace. If they are pursuing you, you run and meet the palace. I have to take this man, beg him, and the mother and the brother to follow me to take this man to the palace. All of them refused because they know that man's character. So Denko, when I was building my hotel, Denko contributed. After I finished my hotel, Denko bought me a monka foam, 40 pairs of monka foam. Before this brought his brother's problem. But they're not free. I was the one that set their brother up. Their brother did the video. I was not there with him in Germany. I cannot because he's with me to come out of a palace. So I have to do my own and leave the rest. So that is where I feel Denko did not play a role. When the brother were insulting me, insulting my wife, calling my wife a prostitute, calling my, my family, no, no sorts of name. You know, because I want to respect the mona. But I took that insult, I swallow it. I don't know if you understand. So when I was building that hotel, the person that contributed to my hotel, was Denko. I'm telling the public, Denko contributed to my hotel. Why I did support Denko in his election was because the way and manner the family handle that their brother issue. They have a house, they didn't put him there. The brother have a guest house, they didn't put it there. They don't put it in my hotel. Then everybody know that this man was in my hotel and they said I should bring him. I called the family before taking him there. Nothing they didn't know. But last, last, they were giving me a source of name. That's why I now cut off from there. But I see having an apology because somebody that saw what I did and contributes. Ladies and gentlemen, we are still under the mango tree. Yeah. And we are discussing with comrade Tony Habaka Adu. Yeah. Join us on Facebook slash Bloomshare yeah. and ask your questions. Comrade, this is a question that has come in from one of the viewers here. Yeah. They said, sir, do you support direct or indirect primaries and what are your reasons? Uh, I don't see anything indirect. You can see there's abracadabra. Anything direct is direct. God said fly well, fly straight. How will you be doing indirect? Anything indirect, anything doing in a easy place is not conducive by the, by the people of the party. Let fly straight. If you are a celebrity, if you are a good candidate, you take it. Ah, a government supposed to be happy for direct primary because it's the one on ground. I, my people love me. He said it on video now. My people love me. I hand it and I deserve it. If you hand it and deserve it, let fly straight now. <laughs> so we did this is let us uh, keep uh, interrogating comrade comrade uh, Adu. Yeah. Keep your questions coming and we'll put them forward to him. In the meantime, I want to ask you, sir. Yeah. Going forward politically, yeah. where is your support going to lie? My brother, I won't lie to you. We started with our grief and before EPM, from EPM to APC Kakos, because we don't want our party to collapse. We have suffered and labored for APC. People that did not suffer for it cannot come and destroy the party. Now, are we not met together? Along the level we are doing it, we were not saying EPM or APC Carcos is going to provide a, a provide provide a, a governorship. 
Why I came out to say the truth and nothing but the truth? Is that Yamu is part and parcel of the people that organize APC in Edo State? Because of the way and manner it will be treated by us, is that Yamu left the party? And even Isaiah Yamu, we are standing alone in that election. I will tell you, I will, I will say everything in the media. A lot of things take place. So, okay, when it now comes to Isaiah Yamu joining us, Isaiah Yamu brought forces to APC. Isaiah Yamu brought equity weight to APC. I will remember vividly if we want to hold meeting. Because of the present governor, this one will say, don't hold it in my house. They may send people and come and fight me. I say, ah, would they come and kill everybody? They were running. Not until General Charles Ariabe volunteer himself. That is why in this struggle, in this struggle, if we want to recognize people, even though Isaiah Yamu is going to emerge as a governor, because he's the one that has the population, he's the one that has the people attack, he's the one that people love. But people, I will plead, that we should not forget a bat in our life in this struggle. Let me count myself out. Everybody knows my own. Uh, uh, General Charles Ariabe paid dues for this struggle. General Charles, I no give on you. Spend money, stand, and stood by the party. I this say I'm saying a lot of people that were aggrieved would say the truth. I will not say Odubu did not play so far. Odubu also plays so part. But let's be sincere. Even though we want to talk about primary, can Odubu stand about in primary? You know, if you say truth, they'll say, see what they talk. And it, is the truth and nothing but the truth? The only person that has followers everywhere, even inside PDP, even inside Obaseki cabinet, even in APC, is Isaiah Yamu. I was not working with Isaiah Yamu. Suddenly I came out and pronounced and said the truth. I've done that before Isaiah Yamu now called me and said, thank you, my brother. Because really this man we work together is the first person I know among all of them. If we want to mention today, all these people that we are talking, most especially some people I don't want to mention it, that is contesting now, all of them came, they are Isaiah Yamu products. Isaiah Yamu brought a lot of them to politics. If I lie, God is watching. I don't know if you understand. Yes. And I've seen that uh, this struggle, my property have been involved. I've run away, I've run exile. Because they say, oh, give governor a chance. Say, buddy, they ought. I run exile. I sell land, go rent us. I cannot run away, I'll not be killer. I came back home. Okay, we don't see come house now. We've, we are not back home. We can, can't we say the truth and nothing but the truth? My property have been involved that worth more than 500 million. I know how much I bought in electronics. I cannot mention. Then, then we will not come and gamble with APC election so that other party will come and take it. The party that we know that is on ground is APC. And secondly, is Yamu is the one that have the power, that have the follower to take this ticket. And I've told them, if they gamble with it, if they gamble with it, they will remember. If they give it to Isaiah Yamu, a PDP will decamp and work for Isaiah Yamu. And I will promise you, the only person that will buy ticket there will be Rice Man. Rice Man cannot win Isaiah Yamu. Ogbede cannot win Isaiah Yamu. Oroide cannot win Isaiah Yamu. But go and bring out that person. You will not see people that we are with Isaiah Yamu that is a PC carcass, they will not pack one side and work for where Isaiah Yamu is going. Me, I won't add it to, I will tell you. If Isaiah Yamu is standing, I stand. If he's living, I live. Because we need a politician that know the cry of politician. We need somebody that, was, that is on ground, that is not in Abuja, that is staying here with us, that knows our cry, that knows our pain. It's not for Isaiah Yamu for him to come on board and let down his people. And I feel he will not do that. And I think he will not do that.
You want me to play band and entertain? Yes, that is <laughs> that we are on our closing. Mm. But it, it, I have to ask this question because I know a lot of our viewers yeah. and somebody here is asking, say, on a personal note, yeah. what, what, how do you feel about that demolition of your property? Putting politics aside. Well, uh, what I feel, to be sincere, you think if I'm with my brother, supporting him on this evil act, he will destroy my property? No, now. It will, it will protect me rather. There are some people out there now that, that I know most of them, they are there. They are built on government land. I know them. I was born and brought up in Benin. I work under protection of government property and I work under community former, former dismissed CDA. So nothing you are going to tell me. I know it's about property. I know it's government property. Some other property people wanted to encroach. I went to the palace. I told Baba, Baba, this is your father's property. I was the one in charge. I gave it to Baba. Not one, not two. This is life. Because people wanted to use the opportunity. They didn't know this place. They want to. I said, no, about property. No, most one that they encroach now. We put bond on it. Because we feel that coronation we are going on, they not encroach on Balan. We drove them away. You go, you cannot encroach a royal our Oba Obini. Can you try to Queen of England? So if you encroach Oba property, you are going to I know all these things. So people that is saying I build on government land. When the time comes, they will prove my own. When the time comes, I will prove their own. It's normal. I did build on government land to be sincere. And I told you that land was given to already the local government where they build their center skill of this accusation and primary school so Go state government did not have a property there in that area where state government have property is where they call uh, layout layout is not this is a rural community so god bless you so we are still under the mango tree yeah and we are with comrade tony kabaka he is going to because there's popular demand for him to play some music so we have asked for his drum so that he can give us some come at me to achieve this table before before we close up we want to hear some melodies it's a good day yes you have you. and then in okay, closing okay. you will you will advise the edu people oh kabazo politics in oro election be dey na wa ri da mi ro o ka wo na kinu wa lu wa yo na won iye o o so gi ame o election be dey na wa ri da mi ro e go go lead me where election be dey na wa ri da mi ro Oka wana kio seme nu we yona mwa. Aga boti ne ega ya kio ma e. Iye o. Oso ni ame o. Oya. Eji ne mi da. Eji ne mi da.
I know that if we continue, yeah. we will we'll probably not be able to live under oh, the yeah. mango tree. Le you see the main one track. It's, okay, one more. I think we have time for one more. Then on the telepathy. Then on the telepathy. My comrade. Telepathy. Then on the telepathy. Are you with me? Kabaka tell you, you know, yeah. Everybody tell you, you know, me. Show Baba tell you, you know, yeah. You say all the story. When he tell me, said my brother, eh, hey, telepathy. Then on the telepathy. Then on the telepathy. I know they follow me because my I know that time I beat him. Okay, now let's take it raw. Kabaka tell you you know yeah. Obama tell you you know green. Osho Baba tell you you know yeah. You say on a story. When he tell me set my brother, eh, hey, tell him pussy. I know they tell him pussy. Yeah, I know they tell him pussy. Where your eye go clear, oh, tell him pussy. I know they tell him pussy. Yeah, I know they tell him pussy. Yeah. On that note, on that note, we we are going to quickly ask your final advice for the Edo people, and then we'll ask you to close this session with under the mango tree by special request from our <laughs> our, our, our our watchers and viewers. You bless. You said uh, my advice to the youth. Yes, your advice. Uh, my advice to the youth. You know, normally our youth they want to be engaged. They want to be busy. Most of them want to be doing something and be getting something. And I will give them advice not to relent because I saw the turnout, the way the Bini were crying over my property that were demolished. Bini, eh, they love themselves. Forget, even though there are some things you do, Bini will say, ah, no. So Bini, you see that since they demolished my hotel, the people that were with government that were supporting him, leave this man to those who all of them turn back because ah you went too far. So my youth, may God Almighty that give me a wealth that make me to build. The same God Almighty will give you power to build your own and nobody will destroy it. Amen. You are working for government, you are supporting anybody today. Whosoever you are supporting, if you win, may that person not forget you and neglect you. Amen. My advice to the youth is not to be allowed to the youth in this coming election, much especially the general election. By God's grace, primarily there will be no fire because you, you, you are going there to go, nobody is paying money. You have to go there and cast your vote and leave. So it's, a, it's all Kakari member. So fighting will not help you. And secondly, I know most of our brothers that is out there fighting us today it because of living you want to feed i don't take it personal with you because why in life if you because of me you leave the work you are doing i cannot offer you we understand but you people watch the atmosphere of a dose this is not so how a dose is supposed to be and i will advise anybody that is coming on board please underline this place before i round up this is very important my message to whosoever that I emerge as a governor, my governor that I want to emerge, wanted to emerge, is Osage Izeyamu. My message to Izeyamu, my, my incoming governor, if you succeed as a governor, most of our youth were being driven away from a do state based on intimidation, based on courtesy killing, based on most especially uh, police embarrassment, Yahoo. If they come to your house, they see that you are not a Yahoo, they will tag you courtes. I want to beg my, uh, my incoming governor, Sage Zayamu, to please underline this place I'm going to say. In your time, if any youth commit a crime and they, there's a petition and there's a, a, somebody that complain, the person should go and face his music. But if there's no a petition, nobody report your youth and they are embarrassing them. And my God, my, my incoming governor, I beg you to please put a full stop so that our youth that run away, the one that went to Abuja, Asaba, various places because of police embarrassment and courtesy killing, they will all come back. Because most of our youth have run away. 
They went, the government came on board, they collected their work, they drive them from various work activity. Most of them died in seas. Most of them, they are nowhere to be found. Most of them, man, please, I want to beg the youth. It's time for we to stand well. How are we going to stand well? Remember where you are coming from. Try to keep yourself busy. Keep yourself busy. Even though God don't wait for government. I don't wait for government in normal and doing things. Up to now, I see carry people along. I see pay their school fees. Not that I have money from any government. I see make money. There's a way you make money. I don't know if you understand. In life, people are out there buying coins, selling it, making money. People are out there using POS. It's to keep busy. The time you are wasting, you can use it for something. You understand? So my youth, I know you people try to engage yourself. It's because there's no job opportunity. May God Almighty bring job opportunity to your door. Amen. Thank you. We are still under the mango tree. And in closing, my name is Ahmed Mamudu. Yeah. We are with Comrade Tony Kabaka. Confirm. He's going to give us the rounding up. So we are closing on with Under the Mango Tree by Popular Demand. Yeah. Under the mango tree, under the mango tree, athletic. Oh yeah, if you know you are my boy, celebrate. Under the mango tree, under the mango tree, athletic is a bee. Under the mango tree, under the mango tree, under the mango tree.